this recipe we are going to be heading to Spain and we're going to make a romesco sauce. We're going to serve that with some lovely grilled vegetables. We've got a clove of garlic here that we've just chopped at the top off. We're going to put this in foil, drizzle some olive oil on, and wrap it up like a parcel. Six tomatoes, we're going to put them, chop them in half and put them cut side down. Just a splash of olive oil and then we're going to roast them in the oven for half an hour. We've got 60 grams of blanched almonds here. We're going to dry roast them in a pan for three to four minutes so they should just start to turn. So we said before that romesco sauce is a Spanish sauce. Traditionally we'd be using romesco dried peppers. Um, not so easy to get in this country, but we can quite happily use the smoked rapi because that's obviously another type of dried pepper. We're using the mild one here, but you can use the sweet uh, paprika as well. The nuts have been toasted. Kind of smush them. You can do this in a food processor or a hand blender. Right, so add those to a bowl. Quite easily, now you've roasted the tomatoes, you can take the skin off, it just pops off. Add those to the bowl. Put your garlic, should be able to, just squeeze out or whatever, however much garlic you want to use. I like garlic, so I've used as well. One teaspoon of mild paprika. Two tablespoons of red wine vinegar and two tablespoons of olive. Add the nuts and season with salt and pepper. And blend to a chunky sauce. This week we're going to use um, spring onions and asparagus, you can use baby leeks, you can use courgettes, you can serve this as fish or meatballs or just as a pasta sauce. If you're using these like asparagus or leeks you can blanch them for a couple of minutes before we char grill them. Brilliant on the barbecue or if you've got a ridged grill pan that's even better. Romanesco sauce served with char grilled vegetables from Vista Veg.